Hello everybody, Lil Simmer here, and I am back with finally another build, but this time I am building in The Sims 4. Now, I know a lot of people give Sims 4 a lot of, like, crap about, like, you know, there's no color wheel and whatnot, but let me tell you, the customization, like, in every other aspect in that game is so much better. Like, yeah, I can't make the colors of things, like, you know, exactly what I want, but, like, the tools in there are just so, just so beautiful. And so, I'm building a house, which I called Fantasy Cottage, I think? I can't remember, because uh, I, I do have another cottage on my, on my channel. I can't remember what the name of that one was, but, um... But yeah, I, um, the inspiration, excuse me, the inspiration for this house came because the house that was originally on the slot that I'm building on looked almost like, lo looked like that, and so like, I just, like, I, I changed it a little bit. Um, I could have, you know, renovated it, but I decided to, you know, like, rebuild it and add my own, like, touch of stuff to it. And so... You'll see me struggle hard in a few things, like, um, like I was trying to put that door down and it wouldn't, like, put, like, and then when I did finally put it down, it was, like, raised up too high and I guess, I didn't know what the issue was. And then a little bit later on, you'll see me struggle, struggle really hard with the foundation because <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to do it and then I finally figured it out. Um, and then, that, you know that, you see a little that oh hold on you see the little pop out like right beside the stairs right there i wanted to add like a chimney because like the chimneys and stuff in this game are really pretty and they have like you know they just have really pretty chimneys and you know stuff like that and um so i wanted to do that but like nothing was working like i think i made it i, I made that part like way too long I think, and so, yeah, and, yeah, <laughs> you can see me struggle really hard right here. Um, another thing that I really like about this game is the roofing. Like, I've watched, like, Sims 4 builds before, and, like, some of my favorite ones to watch are, like, witches' huts and stuff, and the way they, like, curve in the gable roofs is really, like, I love that so much. And so I really wanted my first speed build in The Sims 4 to be like, this isn't like a witch's hut or anything, because like, if you see, I, I made a sim and stuff, and this is actually going to be like my personal game, just because I love how the house turned out so much. Um, but yeah, and, and uh, usually I'll go into like, in The Sims 3, you go into Edit Town and stuff, and but I didn't know I don't I I'm still grasping, you know, how to work it, like how to work The Sims 4, and so I just did Motherload and cheated my way to build this house for my Sim, because you know it's my own it's my own personal game, so so yeah, and this house I don't know how to upload houses in The Sims 4 yet. So I don't think I'm going to upload this one just because it's my own personal house and I want to use it. And um, not that I don't want anybody else to use it, but like I just don't know how to do it. And I want to use this house for my own game. And so, but if you go into The Sims 4 in, in this particular lot, I think I built this house in Windenburg, I think is what it's called. It's the world that came with Get Together. Um, I bought Get Together last night, and um, it's really funny because about a couple months ago I purchased all of the the DLC for Sims 3, and like I already know that I'm going to be playing The Sims 4 a lot more. Not that I don't like The Sims 3, it's just The Sims 4, it runs so much smoother on my PC. And it's, it's really weird to me t for that because like I built my computer myself and I run like almost all of my games on like high settings and so like 
to see that it was the only problem that I had was like it was lagging a lot and the um the rotation of the camera was like really laggy and I don't know why The Sims 4 runs so much better than The Sims 3. It just does. And and so yeah, let's talk about the house a little bit, like a little bit more. Um, I found these really pretty windows, and I do something really cool with the the window upstairs, like in the center above the door. Um, I didn't know that you could like, if you have move objects on, you can like press Alt and like freely move, like freely move stuff. I didn't know that you could do that with the windows. And so when I seen that, I was like getting really excited. I'm like, oh my god, I can do that. And so I did something really pretty. At first, I I put those things together, like those two windows together, and then I found this really pretty window, that one, and then I put I put the one on each side, yeah, like that. And I was gonna like put them in to make it look like it had shutters, but I was like, you know what? A four panel window looks really pretty, like that looks so pretty. See, I was trying to do it. And I was just like, you know what? I thought, I, and I thought it was so pretty. Like, oh my god, I love how much you can do in The Sims 4. And I have downloaded quite a few custom content items. Um, but yeah, I really want to do like um, a Victorian style home because like I've seen like Victorian style homes and like they're so beautiful like and then I've seen people like build them in The Sims 4 and this is like before I even thought about purchasing The Sims 4 and I, for, for the longest time I didn't want to buy The Sims 4 because I was so obsessed with The Sims 3 and stuff and it's like the little things that Sims 4 doesn't have like garages well, you know what? The Sims 3, they don't even use garages. Like, it was clearly aesthetic, just aesthetic purposes, and I just thought, you know, I keep seeing all these amazing houses and how you can customize things so much. And I recently made a video a few days ago explaining an issue I was having with custom content shopping on The Sims Resource. So, to elaborate, in the, Sims, in the Sims resource, if you download custom content for The Sims 3, you have to convert that into package files or else it'll make you download the stuff through The Sims 3 launcher, which we all know is a pain in the rear. Um, but in The Sims 4, you don't have to do, or for custom, for custom content in The Sims 4, you don't have to do that. It already comes as package files. But in my game, they were like they were still package files that I was downloading for The Sims 4. But on the um, the type of file in, in my file explorer, it says it's a Sims 3 package, which was weird. But it still worked. Like I still get the custom content. It just it just says it's a Sims 3 pack. I don't know if I'm the only one that has that problem, but. So I was like downloading all this custom content and it was it's so easy and there's so there's like one or two less steps that I have to do to download custom content and it was just amazing. But anyway. <laughs> um what to talk about? Um what's everybody up to? I actually go tomorrow to get my first dose of the COVID vaccine. And I'm not scared at all. Like I'm I've been ready to have this for the longest time. Um, you know, I'm still gonna wear a mask everywhere I go because just because, you know, just because you have the vaccine doesn't mean that you shouldn't wear a mask. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I go in tomorrow at 2.30 to get my first dose and I keep hearing a lot of like, a lot of stuff about how it, you know, people react differently to the vaccine. Um, like, you could get, you know, sick, like, you could get, like, a fever and nausea and, like, maybe you could you know, feel like crap, but that's just because your immune system is, you know, building up or something like that. I don't know how all that works. All I know is I'm ready for it. <laughs> and 
it's good that I'm getting it now because next month, like I, I think I think we leave on the third of June. I'm going to visit my mom and my family in Ohio for my mom and mine's uh, my birthday because our birthdays are a week apart. Her birthday is June fourth and mine's June eleventh, and I'll be thirty. And so I'm really happy that I get to spend it with her. And my I, my second dose of the vaccine is going to be on June first. So if I get any side effects, I really hope that it only lasts a couple of days. <laughs> Either way, I'm still going. Um, me and my boyfriend and my dog are going to go visit. Any anyway, let's talk about the house. Enough about my weird life. Um, also, my boyfriend should be getting home from work in about... 10 minutes so I should probably wrap this up and leave you guys with some music here soon um cause this is, I don't, I don't know how long this video is, I think it's like 20-ish minutes long because I built this house, I built it last night, like the shell of it like this part that we're watching now and then um, I stopped for the night cause it was like 4 in the morning and I had work later on and so after I got off work at like 8pm a little bit earlier because it's like 12.30 now. Um, I, fur I furnished it and stuff. Because like usually I can build a house and stuff in one sitting. With the furnishing and stuff. But in this particular case I was... I was struggling to f figure out how things worked. And I had already been working and I've been sick the last few days. And I was just... I was ready to go to bed after the show and stuff was done and and it kind of like and I kind of I don't like doing that I like building houses in one sitting so I can get the builds out the door but I was having so I keep hiccuping on the microphone I'm so sorry um but I usually like building things in one sitting just to get videos out the door and stuff, but I was just, I was tired and ready to go to bed, and I think I'll stay for another, like, few minutes, like maybe five or six minutes or so, and then I'll leave you guys with some music, just because I don't really have that much to talk about, that much more to talk about, and my boyfriend's getting home soon, um, but I'm having so much fun building in The Sims 4 and downloading stuff for The Sims 4, like, I've discovered Pinterest and it's a, it's a problem. Like, I have so many pins in Pinterest and it's just so bad. And, um, I'm like looking at other people's speed builds, getting, you know, information from them and, um, there's so many, like, I don't want to say cheats, but it's so much you can do in The Sims 4. Like, when you place objects, like on counters, because we're working on the kitchen right now on my screen, if you want to put items on counters, you, like, it, at first you can only put them on, like, in so many places. But if you move the counter away, the the custom content or the the decoration that you want to put on there stays there and so you can like freely move it and it's so cool like in the sims 3 if you wanted to do that you had to download a thing called omsp which is one more slot please and it's a whole thing there's one more slot please on here but there's there's only one of them and you can place things and then you know delete it after and delete the shelf thing afterwards and it's just so much better, like, I love The Sims 4 so much, and I never thought that I'd hear myself say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really want to get more custom content, and I really want to build, like, a Victorian-style house, like an older, like an older, you know, house. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> I'm just rambling on at this point, because I'm just so, I'm, I'm so excited to be back. And I honestly don't know if I'll be building in The Sims 3 again. Um, just because of my, my, my performance issues with my computer whenever I do. And for those of you that really like The Sims 3 and, you know, I still love The Sims 3. But like, 
I just love the customization of The Sims 4 more. And I'm a details person and I just, I like, I'm starting to like The Sims 4 better than The Sims 3. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to anybody that, you know, said, you know, because I've had, I've, I've had people comment on my videos saying, oh, I see so many Sims 4 things and nobody ever builds in The Sims 3 anymore and so it's, it's really nice to see somebody building in The Sims 3 and I feel like I'm letting people down, but at the same time, you know, I have a right to play what I want and stuff and if you guys stick around, I'm, I, I love you guys. <laughs> Um, but yeah, expect more Sims 4 stuff from me because I can honestly say that I'm going to be playing The Sims 4 a lot more than The Sims 3. Just for the customization thing. Anyway, <laughs> we're, anyway, we're here working on the living room and, um, I don't remember where I got that fireplace. I know it's custom content, but I can't remember what pack or what, you know, set from The Sims or I got it from because it is really pretty. And I thought it looked so good with the house that I'm building. And in the living room and stuff. Um, but I think I'm going to leave you guys with some pretty music. Um, I'm not going to play the same the same song I always play. I'll put some cute cottagey music on the end of it. I think um, there's only like maybe five or six minutes left of this video anyway. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new, and watch out for my next video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.